to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how I painted this little letter box and the Santa's sack. I also used a glitter paint for the snow effect and salt on the sky to create um, snowflakes as effect as well. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you do so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it does help me massively. So thank you very much and enjoy the video. Bye bye. Okay so here we are. I'm using ultramarine on my plate and I'm mixing it. So what I do is I mix my paint first with water and then I apply water all over the paper around the edges, avoiding the post box and avoiding parts where I'm going to put the snow and also the sack. So now I'm applying the paint. You can see how beautifully that spreads. And I don't want to cover it completely. I do want to leave little gaps to insinuate snow. Now we'll show you an effect that I use, uh, which is salt. So by adding salt, what happens is um, the salt will absorb the water and with it, the paint. So as it does that, it will um, lighten it up in sections. So it, it gives an impression of snow and a frosty morning. So here I apply in the salt. So you wait for this to dry completely. Leave the salt on there. You can use thick salt or you can use thin salt when you do this effect. But you leave it there till it's completely dry. Then you remove the salt and you'll find these little um, crystallized effects, um, like white snow. So you can already see that in the background, it's already taken um, part. So uh, now I water, uh, apply water to the post box and now I'm applying the Windsor Red on top. Now I want to make the post box darker on the left side than the right side as the light, um, I decided to put the light coming in from the right side. Okay, these videos sped up a little bit for you so it doesn't take too long. Now this little size uh, of paper, um, what I did is I have a good quality um, or any good quality of paper, watercolour paper and I tore it using, um, you can use it your hands only, very carefully tear it around the edges to make the shape or um, use a ruler on one side and lift the paper and tear it. Um, because it's 100% um, cotton, this paper, uh, it will tear nicely and it will give you that jagged effect on the, uh, on the edges, all around the edges and it will look beautiful on a postcard, um, on a Christmas card, um, so you can uh, glue it on top of a Christmas card and then decorate it if you wish. Um, so now I'm applying a darker paint around the left side so you can see some more consistency of that Windsor Red. So painting Christmas cards um, are great fun. They're quite quick and easy to do. Um, depends um, subject you're painting obviously but um, this is quite a nice card to to have uh, 
Okay, so these little grooves, I left a little gap in between them because that's the reflection. And it's got like, a, the post box has got little indentations on the top bit. So that's what I'm trying to replicate here. So I'm going very light, a watery down consistency on the right, but thicker on the left. Now obviously the post box hole where the letters go in will be darker, so I will apply a darker um, consistency of paint in there. And what I used for that is the Windsor Red and a Payne's Grey. So I mixed a bit of Payne's Grey and Windsor Red and it gave me like a purpley colour. So I didn't use black, I just used um, that colour for the centre. Okay, so now I'm going to mix that uh, thicker consistency with the Payne's Grey. So you can see the purple on the left there for that little... Um, I'm not sure what you call that, um, the slot where the letters go, I suppose. Then I'm creating a shadow as well underneath it. So I use this paint mixture to create those shadows of the grooves and the post box. So on top of this post box, I was leaving a section, as you can see on the painting, and there will be snow sitting on top and dripping on the sides. And on top of the little um, letter um, porthole <laughs> on top of that, we got a bit of snow that will go on top of there. So I'm using that consistency of purple on the edges here as well to make it darker and stand out a bit more. Okay, so I, I do play backwards and forwards with that Windsor Red and that uh, plum colour mixture. So now I'm using uh, watercolour pencils for this. So I'm using the red colour. And these are Faber-Castell um, watercolour pencils. So because the paper is still damp on the post box, the paint uh, of the pencil um, glides quite nicely and still uh, blends in nicely as well and just creates uh, soft edges. So now I'm applying, I'm using the black uh, watercolour 
pencil on this now because I wanted it um, those grooves to be darker I actually did use it as well on the pot on the little um, slot for the letters and around the edges here but I wasn't going too heavy on this so just very lightly touching the paper Okay, so now I'm working on the sack. So I'm wetting the sack first with water. And then I'm applying the Windsor Red again as well. And I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm not going heavy on it, I'm just applying it in sections and trying to work with creases. So what I will do, um, what I do after this is I apply as much paint as possible then because they they make the painting still wet I go over when it's just starting to dry nearly you go with water so apply water on your brush and just tap it on the paper you can actually drop the water little tiny drops or just touch it on the paper and you'll see in a minute it will create bloom effects and um, it is not a mistake um, it's just an effect that you can create and because it's a sack I didn't want it to be completely perfect so there you go so you can see now the blooms appearing on the sack it's just great effect you can actually work with this afterwards as well I use the uh, watercolor pencils now and I play with this around and manipulate it how I want it to go and uh, so I give it a bit of freedom to do its own thing but I also want to create some more texture in there so very lightly and touching it with the watercolor pencil because the paper is still damp and now creating a shine on that left side as well, so I'm leaving it to that. I do make this rack sack, this, this sack, sorry, a little bit bigger because it, it wasn't quite right shape for me. So anyway, now I'm moving on to the snow. So what I did is I wet the base where the snow is and then I go over with the same blue that I used for the sky Applying a little bit of paint spray underneath the, the sack just to give a bit of depth and, and the place and the top of the snow. There we go. So I'm applying a little bit of this blue in grooves to show that there is snow there and the shadows between the snow layers. Now I felt that I needed to uh, make it that the snow, um, I wanted it to be sparkly snow. So I'm using, um, this is a honey, um, handmade watercolour and uh, I purchased this set, a beautiful set, very small set actually, they are tiny, tiny paints and um, so I thought I'd use it on the snow and parts of the post box to make it shine a bit more. You'll see me applying that in a minute. So I went a bit more with the red around the post box. I felt it needed to be more red. And it's making it stand out and pop now and you can see that ref that, that sunlight reflecting on it it's looking quite good it's just it's giving it a bit more 3d effect okay 
Okay, so I wanted a little bit of warmth here where the sun was hitting it. So I applied a bit of that lemon Windsor, or Windsor lemon, just to attach like a glaze on top. Okay, so I'm painting the, the strap or the ribbon or the tie around the sack in that same colour. So you always try to use the same colours all through your painting to keep keep a balance on your painting. Just It's great. So you can see me now, I'm making that, this sack a little bit wider. Okay, so here comes a sparkle. So I'm going to use this little paint. This one is called Crystal. Something Crystal, I can't remember the name now. And um, I go very lightly on top, on parts to make it shiny. And parts of the snow as well. Okay, so we are coming almost to the end of the painting now. Like I said, you can uh, make a painting like this and, um, and use it as a special Christmas card for somebody you care for, for somebody special in your life. So now I'm brushing away the salt, you can see that, so I'm taking it off. And you can see the effect that it leaves on the sky, it's just lovely, really nice. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you soon. Hello. Welcome to my channel. I created this little video of a painting um, of the little, um, little, uh, why I keep on saying little. Hi there. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I painted a little uh, left, um, 